The crowd really enjoying themselves here in the Stadio del Marmi in Rome, the 2017 Hyundai Archery World Cup. And it's time to go into the top half of the draw now. And this is a match between two archers with some fantastic Olympic pedigree. In fact, it's a repeat of the bronze medal match in Rio from last year. Let's see if these World Cup conditions can produce a different result. And this is also our first look at the defending champions, team. Yeah. Um, Kibo Bay, Alejandro Valencia. I guess I shouldn't have spoiled that for everybody. But... Uh, that's yeah, okay. We'll see, we'll see what uh, what Miss Key's got today. I mean, she was uh, she was shooting out in the rain on the practice day on Friday, and uh, I was really struck by that. But let's uh, take a look at her opponent for the first time here, walking out onto the field of play, accompanied by some uh, some serious-looking guys and some serious-looking armor. Um, I'll ask you about that later, actually. Uh, but uh, we're going to have a first look. And the archer from Mexico, who takes her place on the shooting line on target number one. Always a very smiley competitor, Alejandra Valencia of Mexico. A career high ranking of number three in the world this year. Just 22, but with plenty of potential. As we say, lost to Key in the bronze medal match in Rio in 2016. And here comes the Korean archer strolling, it's fair to say, onto the field of play, smiling, although when she gets into match play, she certainly locks up that poker face, doesn't she, and you can't get very much from her at all. Yeah, you know uh, you know, she's going to shoot a solid match, I mean, there's, there's times you go into a, a match with a competitor and you go, I'm not sure what they're going to give me, they might, they might come out and be on fire, they might come out and lay an egg. Um, Kibo Bay may not be on fire, but she's not going to lay an egg. So. so our line judge this morning will get us underway. And it will be Kibo Bay of Korea. He will get us underway onto target number two. Key ranked number two in the world this year. Seeded fourth in this competition. She's won this event twice before. Looking to make it three this year. Off to the left. Valencia, can she find the gold? He does Nueve just. A la una. Un poquito arriba. So key loose with her first arrow. Better with her second. Here, right on top of her first arrow, another nine. So the key's going to need a ten here. And she manages it. Twenty-seven, just to put a little bit of pressure on Valencia now. Got to score well with this arrow, and she does. And we have our first drawn set of the morning. Remember, two set points for a win and a point each if you draw the set. 27 to start off with for these two archers. We shot against each other before last year in the Olympics in the bronze medal match in Rio, which key won. Steve, do you know it's a good shot when it leaves the bow? Yeah. Yeah. You can How pretty you much, uh, uh, you, you can almost feel the reaction of the bow as it uh, pushes away from your, your hand that's holding it. Um, you, you can almost hear a different sound out of the bow, Okay. I would say. Uh, you know, if you make a good strong shot versus one that was kind of weak where you didn't have, uh, you know, the right amount of tension applied on, on the bowstring as you shot it. It would 
with a recurve, it's a bit different, obviously, because they have to get through the clicker. Um, but yeah, you know it when you shoot it. So at 1-1, one, one, Key starting off again. And the 10 with her final arrow of the first set, but uh, in the 9 again. They're both shading the right side again now. Looked like Kiba Bay put a click or two in her sight. Still off to the right hand side. Tension a little in Valencia's shot there, but still a nine. Are we heading for another drawn set? Maximum of five sets, of course, a one arrow shoot off if there's a tied score at the end of that. Great shot there to show you just how far away those target mm -hmm. faces are. 70 meters. Yeah, very cool camera angle there. Yeah. And a nine. <laughs> a ten for Alejandra Valencia. And she goes into the lead. Three set points to zero. Uh, three one, yep. Three one. Absolutely. And um, Key taking longer than you might expect a Korean archer to find her rhythm, actually. Yeah. Um, you know, we've seen we've seen this out of uh, Kim Woo Jin, too, where he sometimes doesn't start fast. But uh, I, I think she'll she'll probably make a comeback here. She missed every one of those to the right side. I think that first arrow to the left maybe confused her a little bit. Um, but we'll, I think we'll see her make a good comeback here. Key took gold in the uh, Shanghai leg of the World Cup this year and then went out in the early rounds uh, in the later stages. So she's not invincible by any, by no. any means. No. And uh, you, you, no matter who you are, you give up a 3-1 uh, deficit to start the match and you're, you're not invincible. So, so she's behind is, now. Yeah, and this is great for Alejandra. This is what she needs to, to, to push for a win in this match. He needs to find the tens. Can't this time either. Shaking the head. Oh, good enough for Valencia. Hey! In the ten. Yeah, and Alejandra's had you know, just the 110. The rest have been nines, but that's been steady enough to, to get this lead. Let's see if she can come back and tie it on this set. 28 means Kibo Bay in a good position to take this set, which she will do. Valencia on the line between eight and nine. So 27 points with that set for Alejandra Valencia. And we're back to all square again, three set points each. Yeah, it's amazing how quickly in, in these uh, set system matches you can go from feeling pretty good with your with your two-point lead to uh, you know, it's all square again. And, and that's, that's a lot different than what we work with on the cumulative side where you, know, you have a two-point cumulative lead um, and, and you're feeling really good about that because you know you, you've got those two points. You've got them and they can't take them away. Yeah. You can give them away, but they can't take them away. So Valencia, very consistent there. As you said, only one ten in the match so far, but everything else in the gold. Key, two tens, but also an eight there. And yeah. those are the margins, aren't they? Yeah, for anyone wondering, it's, it's tied cumulative score as well. That was really good maths. Well. It's compound archery for you. Yeah, I had a little Good adding up. Here, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there is a good game. Absolutely. Another nine for Key. 
So Valencia with her nose in front a little here. Looking yes. to make progress. Super 10 for her. These arrows are nine, so she knows Valencia is going to have to give something away here. Yeah, where she hasn't left the gold. You know, it's yeah. and nine for Alejandro Valencia. Five three now. And the defending champion is looking in a little bit of trouble, it has to be said. 5-3, remember the first archer to six points. We'll take the match and go through to the semi-finals. So Valencia only needs to draw the next set in order to win. And Key needs to go into this fifth set and win it in order to force a shoot-off. Here is a lot of people's pick for the title here, but she's got it all to do now. When you had to dig really deep like this, what's going on? What's going through your head? Uh, for me personally, you know, it's it's. Uh like I mentioned earlier, shoot the one in the bow, put it in, in the 10, and, uh, and then move on to the next one. You, they have to give you something, and uh, if, you, if you take all that you can, ah! they often will give you something. She knows she's in a match, Kibo, yeah. yeah. doesn't she? And uh, Valencia also does, because that nine after Key's 10, not what she needed. Yeah, you, can, you can see the tension there. Yeah. yeah. That'll that'll help Kibo Bay relax a little bit. I, I, I think she'll shoot this one. You know, good quality shot, ten or nine at worst, and she looks smooth. Yeah, she'll, line. she'll get the thing. Yeah. 29, so she will take us to a shoot-off. Valencia, a little bit of target practice, but uh, only an eight, and uh, those arrows a little wild on the target face, and a, a smile for her, and she's given up a potential winning position, which means we have a single arrow shoot-off here in our third quarter-final here in Rome. Yeah, and you don't want to be going to a, a one-arrow shoot-off on back-to-back -back eights. That's it's not uh, a confidence builder. No, neither Archer really that consistent through through the match as a whole, but it just feels like there's a little bit of momentum for Key. Yeah, yeah, shooting a 29 there um, to your opponent's 25. You know, it, it, in the end, it all comes down to that one arrow. You make one good shot, and, and it doesn't really matter what you've done previously. But you know, if you're if you're trying to figure out how to make a good shot again, uh, it's never it's never the the right mind frame for that one good arrow. The key's tie break record a lot better than Valencia. She's up in the high 70s in tie breaks, whereas Valencia 57%. So if you're gonna a bit of money on this one you might go with the korean archer because her record in tie breaks is slightly stronger yeah i'd say if you're putting a, a money on a recurve match it's always safe to go with the korean archer <laughs> <laughs> Is it an advantage in a shoot-off to go first as well as, as Key is here? Um, there are times it is, you know, the the uh, the standard is always to go first, and, and World Archer will often ask us, when you're going out, the higher-ranked archer gets to pick if they go first or, or last. And uh, they'll, they'll ask, you're going to go first, uh, assuming that you will. But there are times it's good to go second and know what you have to shoot rather than assume you have to be perfect. Here we go. In the 10. That's a marker. Yeah, it's in there, but it's uh, there's room. On oh, a nine from Valencia.
Gets here. She came here with great intent, did Kibo Bay. She's the defending champ champion. She's through on a shoot off. Valencia's stunning World Cup season is over. She'll be looking to build on this uh, home world championships in Mexico next month. But Ki Bobe, a World Cup winner in 2010 and 2016, is looking to add a third title to her record. And she's through to the semi finals. You enjoy that match, Steve? That was a good one. Yeah, it's a good, uh, good match to watch. Good to see a shoot off. Um, you know, I'm sure for, for Ki Bobe, it's good to have that out of the way and be able to reset and, and uh, go to the next one. And, Hopefully she'll be, for her, you know, I'm sure she's hoping she'll be a little more comfortable. Yeah, Alejandra shot very strong. She did what she needed to do. She got out to the early lead and, and gave herself a chance. Yeah, absolutely. And great for um, a Mexican archer to do so well here in the World Cup with uh, their home World Championships just a couple of weeks away now. That'll give her a lot of confidence for Mexico City. Right, right. yep. And she's been finding herself in a lot of finals matches, you know, from the, the uh, Olympic bronze match uh, to being in, in the, the gold in Berlin. So she's figuring out how to get there, and that's half the battle. So our last quarter final is next. And Steve, just tell us what it's what is it actually like to, to walk out onto the onto the arena here? You know, you, you step out and it's uh, it's a bit of a slow walk. And there's some 